let's have a look. A procedure text informs us how to do or make something through a series of steps. And there are many different types of procedure texts, such as recipes, instructions, directions, or rules. Procedure texts have a specific structure. At the very top, you will always find a title. And the title, just like with any title, tells us about what the writing is going to do. So in this case, it's a very clear statement about what we're either going to do or make. We also have a list that follows the title of perhaps materials or ingredients. These often are in bullet points or perhaps they're numbered. And these are the things that you will need to complete the task. And the third thing is the method or the steps that are required to explain how to complete the task. So as I said, three things. We have the title, we have materials, and we have steps or the method. Let's have a look at this picture. This is a procedure text about making fairy bread. Can you see the title? There it is, fairy bread. Can you see the materials or the list of things you'll need to make fairy bread? That's right, there it is. A list of ingredients and a little list of equipment that's required. What about the steps or the method? Can you see that on this piece of work? If you pointed to this part, you are correct. Great job. So let's practice. Can you find the title? If you said this was the title, you did a great job, well done. Can you find the list of ingredients or materials that you're going to need? If you pointed to this part, you would be correct. It says you will need cornstarch, food coloring, water, a bowl, a jug and a cup. So what about those steps? Can you find the steps that you're going to need to do to make slime? Here they are. Great job, you can see this one says instructions and that means the same thing. They are the steps that you need to do in order to make slime. Let's have a go at this one. Can you find the title? There it is. What about the list of ingredients or the things that you need? Well done. These are, these are the things that you will need. What about those steps or the method that you need to follow? Can you find those? And here they are. This is how we can break down this procedure text of how to make a phone call. That's our title at the top. That's followed by the list of things that are required. And then of course, we have the steps at the end. Your activity today is, go is going to be to have a look at these four pictures. Now I'm not going to tell you what the title of this is. That's something that we are going to call the super challenge for today. But have a good look. I can see a bowl with an egg and a whisk. I can see a fry pan with something cooking inside it.
I can also see a plate with two things and a piece of lemon on it that is sprinkling something from a spoon. And then I can also see the fourth picture has three bowls and someone seems to be putting ingredients into the bowls. So your task is to put these things in order. And I've provided a grid for you in a square that are numbered one, two, three, and four. So there are four steps to this procedure. Can you cut them out and put them in order? I would like you to write your date and your IAL. If you can, draw the boxes or get someone to help you and work out the correct order or sequence that this thing happened in. If you would like to draw the pictures, fantastic. I would also like you to write a title if you can. And I want you to answer a question. What sort of procedure do you think this text is? Is it instructions, rules, a recipe, or a manual? And when you've made your choice and written it in your book, I'd like you to tell me how you know this. Of course, take a photo and submit it to Class Dojo. Now I'm going to flick through some information next that is going to help you to put our activity in order. I'm not going to say anything, but I want you to look very hard at the clues and see if you can work it out. Here we go.